All right, how's it going, folks? How's it going, stackers? Uh, today we are actually going to a estate auction. Yes, first estate auction of the year. I'm pretty certain it's the first estate auction. Um, in terms of what to expect, very nice out, very warm. It's supposed to be warmer later today, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, I'll try to make this video kind of short. Uh, I'll try to show you guys around the auction, and uh, if I find anything cool, if I pick up anything cool, if prices are going good, then obviously I'll buy them and show you guys what I picked up at the end. So let's go out there and let's uh, see what kind of uh, adventures we can get into. Let's do it. Sound cactuses. I got Forty-five bucks. Is that really what it says on it? <laughs> Get the department to pay for it. It's got to be a uniform allowance. I don't know. He starts off at a dollar with my beer. He starts with the baseball stuff, I'll stay. But otherwise, I'm going home. I'll give you a good tip. <laughs> First buy of the day. First buy of the day. Paid a dollar for it. Can't even find the opening. Got some tools, some wrenches, and stuff. I can use that uh, tape roller. It's always good to have for clothes and stuff. But I parked all the way over there. So we got a long walk. Long walk. Okay, on the train shed. Who can be five out of those? Start them off. Five, I got five. Everybody go six. Six, seven, eight. I got six dollars. Everybody go seven. Give me three. I am bitch. How much price? You want? Three. Uh, I have to. I have to worry about this. Four dollars. this piece of furniture right here. Yeah, no. Not really. It's missing a knob. <laughs> it's missing a knob. It's got a good backing. Turns? Not the hottest thing on the roof. There goes Larry. Oh, Larry. So Larry's the guy who I usually contact if I have any questions about furniture. I contact Larry. I just text him like, yo, what is this thing worth? Is it worth anything? Um, and he lets me know. So he let me know about the armoires, the dressers. He's the one who always tells me to pick up dressers and chest of drawers and stuff like that. Which surprisingly, everything he tells me in terms of furniture-wise is almost spot on all the time. Which is always good to have, you know, especially when you don't deal in a lot of stuff like that. I picked up two lots. Uh, this place was kind of a bust. I thought there'd be like no one here, but it's also the first nice day, uh, weekend-wise. And so I figured everyone's probably out doing that. All right, so here we go. The old Nancy doesn't want to open up. There we go. Uh, didn't really pick up much today. So what happened was, so this I didn't buy there. I didn't buy these two pieces of Pyrex. So just doing a little recap of what happened. Uh, I bought this tote of uh, glassware and stuff for a couple pieces of Pyrex. There was some Corningware as well. As you can see at the corner where we have a yellow primary Friggy. Uh, I'm trying to think off the top of my head if this is a reverse set or this is actually just the original primary color set. 503. 
So we got this one, and then we picked up another one of these. So like I said a couple times, this Amish butter print is really sought after. That's the style on it, the turquoise color. Very, very hot. You really can't find those anywhere. To cast these, these things like this, Corningware, I get a buck a piece at the flea market without the lids. I guess it'd be blue flower Corningware. It's not extremely sought after, um, but I bought it for those two pieces. Those were included. You start off with the Corningware, you ask the dollar, and then I think I paid six or seven bucks for, you know, that and this combined. Um, and then I picked up the tools. It's just a little toolbox. I paid a dollar for this. You got some tools in here. You got some wrenches and stuff. Her brand. Her brand. I don't know. Might not be the best uh, of stuff. But we got some clamps. Stuff of that nature if you guys are interested in tools. You got a hammer. That, uh... uh see, I always... Whenever I make these videos, I always forget what things are called. That measuring tape. It's probably actually something else. The measuring tape is always good. That's one thing, like some people say, oh, I always try to, to pick up hammers whenever I can because I always need a hammer and I, I never know where I, I, I misplace so many hammers. Measuring tapes are it for me. So, picked up those two pieces. It was a good day overall. I ran to Ray. Ray is from Les's auction. Uh, it was good to talk to him for the auction. I had another friend who picks up um, paper, memorabilia, and stuff like that, postcards, um, stuff like that was there. The police officer who told me to buy that one storage auction, my first storage auction uh, video, he was there. And uh, the good thing about, you know, some people actually, they when they decide they want to leave, they tell you what's good and what's not good in case you maybe don't know. And he told me, hey, look, there's a piece there. It's like $100, $125. Don't let it go cheap. It didn't go cheap. But uh, I know I do that with probably like three or four other people. If I'm leaving, I'll let my friend know, like, hey, look, that's worth some money if if you know, they're resellers too, so try to help out other people as well. Um, and of course, Larry was there. Larry is the furniture guy. Whenever I have a question about any furniture, I always contact him and ask him, hey, look, I don't know if this is worth anything. Should I pick it up? If it's in the trash, should I pick it up? Is it worth hauling? What am I going to get for it? And he's pretty spot on with a lot of it. So that was really cool. It's always cool to find other people at an auction. And then we also uh, picked up some more Pyrex. Someone there, when I bought this lot, for seven bucks she was like oh i can get you more more of that stuff for cheaper i don't i don't, I don't use that i was like yeah well if, if you can get it from me for cheaper i mean i'll pay you what i paid today you know i still think it was a good price and she's like yeah i'll sell you i have a couple pieces i'll sell you for six bucks so i think this is spring blossom that's a casserole and i think here's the lid there you go the old lid and this might be like the Americana kind of style set. I found a brown, the smaller one, uh, that was probably half the size a couple weeks ago at a fleet, uh, at a thrift store. This is another Fridgy, so it seems to be the day of Fridgies, and we have a lid for it, which is very, very neat. Um, she actually said, if you want, you can stop over at my house and pick it up. Uh, I'm always wary of that, but, you know, I'm very cautious. And, uh, yeah, I just met her outside her house, and she was picking flowers and she's working on our flower bed and stuff like that so it was cool I got a good good deal on that she said she was moving so gave her my car let her know if she was moving later on give me a call you never know with these auctions who you're going to come across I've come across a lot of people who say you know they're moving you give them a card they give you you know a call two three weeks later clean out their house or whatever uh, it's always great auctions are fun I think this year's going to be a lot of a lot of auctions I'll try to hit and show you guys lots and lots of cool things hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, I know I didn't pick up much. Prices were going really, really high. It's the first warm weekend of the spring. Uh, warm, I mean over 65, 70 degrees. It's also not, you can't cut the grass. The grass is still kind of brown. It looks greenish, but it's brown and patchy. So, can't do that much yard work in terms of weeding and mowing and weed whacking. But, uh, so, so everyone was really at the auction. It was just what people were doing, so. I know, kind of ending is kind of long. I apologize. I just want to show you guys what I picked up. Some cool, uh, some stories about the auction and some other things as well. Uh, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Hopefully, you guys like these treasure picking videos as they're a fun little fun to film and, and, and adventure. So, so thank you for all the support. And uh, as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.